Good evening or afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another weather forecast here by Adrian's Weather Forecast. I do apologize for not being able to post yesterday. I was extremely busy. I had a tennis game, uh, tennis matches, sorry, and also had a ton of homework to do, and I, like, stayed up really late. So I do apologize, but this is going to be another update on the, con con uh, the continuation of the major severe weather and flooding threats coming out throughout the southeast. We've been seeing rain throughout since Monday in some of these areas in the exact same counties. And some of these areas have been under flood warnings or flash flood watches for more than a 48-hour period. And we can see it for another 48-hour period to come. So, again, we're really going to start seeing a lot more rain and a very big severe weather threat as we get into the overnight hours throughout areas into the Gulf Coast and Southeast, which we'll be covering throughout much of the video. Also, be sure to share the channel to any friends or family that you think will be in the way of this major severe weather or that you think will love my daily weather forecast. Also, if you're new, be sure to subscribe. We are one subscriber away from two, uh, 2080, so let's get there. But without further ado, let's get this video. So, first thing we'll be looking at here is the uh, National Weather Service. Again, this is the area of focus here in the southeast. Again, we have millions under flash flood watches going all the way up from the metro Atlanta area to, to Augusta, all the way up to the Baton Rouge and Alexandria area. Again, this is in the dark green county, so if you're in the dark green, you have flash flood of watch most likely, and that is the threat for seeing flooding uh, at a very fast rate and an easy, uh, easy period of time. A short time, a uh, short period of time for the flash flood to be caused. Again, that's throughout areas near southern Mississippi, much of eastern uh, Louisiana, much of central and southern, uh, much of southern Alabama, as well as Georgia, and then much of the western panhandle area of Florida near the Pensacola area. And then we do have flood advisories to the east of these areas, or sorry, to the west of these areas. We have flat, uh, we have flood advisories. And river flood warnings in effect throughout the uh, throughout the um, Mississippi River, and we also do have a very big threat out here into south, uh, southern Georgia and southern Alabama, where we do have these flood warnings in effect. So that's a major threat, and we have flash flood warnings. That's where we could be seeing the heaviest of the rain and also potentially the worst of the severe weather threat today. So look at this radar here. We have multiple. Uh, bands throughout stretching throughout the southern parts of these states and this is going to be continuing as we go on through today it's going to bring in a lot of rain they're also going to be a very heavy band as well and again we see these uh these uh flashlight watches uh, south of me again we do have Gwinnett County, DeKalb County, Cobb County all the way up near the Athens area and again, again, this is all, these flat flood watches are south of me, but again, I'm still going to have major bands to uh, taper on and off throughout tomorrow. Again, I'm not going to be seeing, like, the non-stop rain, like, these areas, uh, but again, I'm still going to have rain for about 80% of tomorrow. Again, see, just seeing these lighter bands right now. Uh, we saw this earlier on today, it actually quite heavy. Tennis practice was canceled. But look at this rain that's heading towards the Birmingham area. That's something we really need to worry about. Montgomery, you guys could have multi cell storms moving in. They don't know that they're going to really grow that much or mix with uh, the cold, uh, mix with the warm air. As the, it's, this is all from a cold air moving in, meeting with the moisture and warm, moist air. It's not really likely it's really going to meet at this point here. We could have a threat coming towards. Uh, the southern area uh, south of Macon near Warm Springs. We could have a threat there uh, for severe weather. Also seeing some very strong bands moving towards Tupelo. Could start seeing this rain starting to pick up near Huntsville. And this is all moving to the Georgia area as you get really uh, late into tonight. So this is all going to move this way. Could start seeing the, the rain showers starting in the Pensacola and you all start feeling it. And again, the worst of the threat for today's severe weather is over here. That's going to be overnight. Again, this is just getting started out here. Now we're we'll looking at the next hour or so. Again, the next hour, we could be seeing the strongest uh, bands. Again, these are going to be very strong, multi celled bands, but they're going to be very small. They're not going to be the big wall cloud type system you see in Oklahoma or Kansas or even parts parts of the year near like December or January out here and these areas the exact same areas but again these still would be very small but again like we saw in the Clarksville and Nashville tornado the EF3 again this could have that happened in a very small but very strong band it wasn't necessarily a very small but again not a very big size where we have EF3 tornadoes again we have multiple bands here that you can tell that could definitely have 
uh, a type of energy that could cause somewhat a rotation in these areas. But if we have any tornadoes, I think it will be mainly sticking near the Montgomery area, uh, maybe even just north of Montgomery. That's where we could possibly see a threat for any tornado, but not likely to have a really major tornado. If anything, maybe EF0 or EF1 that are still something to worry about, though, but not necessarily a tornado outbreak for tonight or not that I know of. As we get the next 12 hours, again, most of the rain will head out, but again, we still have all this moisture to continue to pile on, on the rain. It's just going to continue as we get all the way near the Houston area, start seeing this moisture and cold air all have to break in the brain. And then even by the next 24 hours, we're still seeing, like I said, a really big, uh, just big really all these bands meeting up together that's really gonna affect me just before my tennis game and then it should all move out and bring the heaviest of the rain not severe weather but the heaviest will be coming towards columbia uh, myrtle beach uh, wilmington and then eventually out there in raleigh now we're gonna be looking out here into the gfs and look at these cells you can definitely see how high these clouds are just by the radar again these are really strong bands out here into uh, north central louisiana and we could be seeing somewhat some potential uh cell development out here into southern uh, southwestern georgia uh near warm spring uh moving towards about dawson savannah area that's where we could be seeing some potential uh action or some potential really just seeing some energy over there developing into southern georgia also seeing a very big threat like i said near the hattiesburg area um near the jackson mississippi area you see you see the clear into north uh northern alabama northern mississippi but that's all going to change as you get later into tonight uh or really early tomorrow morning start seeing these bland these bands split up not going to be as bad uh uh really really early tomorrow morning but then we'll have some really stronger uh really uh downpours as you can say developing within the next 20 hours now so that's gonna be around two o'clock eastern time around one o'clock central time and then that will all move out into the carolinas feeling really heavy rain uh really from 30 hours from now to 36 hours from now now we are going to be looking at today's outlook here for uh the convective outlook again we only have a slight chance but again if you're in a chance, uh, as long as you're in a chance, there is a chance. I know that probably did not make sense, but still. Again, as long as you are in a above a really a level one, you are in a threat, or there's a very good chance you could possibly see some type of action or energy that has to do with severe weather. In the marginal, we have around 8 million people. That's including Houston, Shreveport, Jackson, Mississippi, Pasadena, and Savannah, Georgia. So again, it actually, with the new update, the uh, the slight chance actually did move up a bit closer to the Tybee Island area uh, off the 13 Barrier Islands off Georgia. So that is a bit of an update, but not really including that much many, not that many people, more people. But again, if you are out just outside of Savannah, um, that's something, that's something to really worry about. Uh, but again, the marginal, again, that's 8 million people. Now, for the slight chance, we'll, to, we'll have the worst severe weather that I circled on the European radar. That's where we actually have up to around 8 million people as well. That's for New Orleans, Baton Rouge, Mobile, Tallahassee, and Mattery. And tornado threat is at a 5% chance, which is actually still very high. I know it's not even above a 50%, not even close. But actually, once it gets above a 2% chance, it's actually a very great chance. And once you get closer to a 50% chance, that's basically saying there is a closer to a 100% chance to see tornadoes again. I believe cl uh, I believe the um, Nashville area was not even under a 2% chance uh, the same day. If not, I think it was only a 2%. And the guys, like we saw a EF3. Again, the biggest chance for seeing a tornado is, again, for New Orleans, Baton Rouge, Mobile, Mattery, and Lafayette areas. And that's where we have the slight chance and then still maintaining a 15% chance throughout the Gulf Coast for winds. Not really a wind risk, really. As we now get into tomorrow, though, this severe weather threat will be more of a southeastern coast type system in Florida and Georgia. We do have a marginal risk still closer to staying, maintaining in the 9 million range throughout today and tomorrow. So that's Tampa Bay, Peter, St. Petersburg, Orlando, Montgomery, and Columbus, Georgia. 
And notice how Savina is just outside of the slight chance once again. And then for the slight, we have 6 million people. That's for Jacksonville, Tallahassee, Gainesville, Florida, Albany, Georgia, and Dalton, Alabama. Uh, so really, again, maintaining out here just outside the big cities like Macon, uh, getting out of Montgomery and Savannah, even near Charleston. Tornado Threat is also a 5% chance for 3 million people. So it's kind of winding down to a little uh, Planet X area. That's for Jacksonville, Tallahassee, Dolphin, Valdosta, and Panama City. And then Hale is really maintaining very low as well. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And now we're going to be looking at the uh, severe weather, the rain and thunder, and also lightning, the amount of lightning reports. Uh, we've seen it's quite, uh, we're seeing a lot of action just near uh, south uh, south of Jackson where we have Liberty, uh, Tyler Town, uh, Brookhaven, Mississippi. That's where we're seeing a lot of action for the, now on to 8 o'clock central time. So you've definitely seen a lot of action with these bands that we saw on the radar. Again, you are see, starting to see the outskirts of rain. We've seen half of the rain right now in Savannah and actually in these areas right here in the near the uh, Liberty areas. We have seen quite a lot of rain as well. As you can tell, we've been seeing up to an, an inch from just that time alone, on uh, 1.1 inch as uh, wit as well. And then as we now get really early into around, around midnight, it will start to taper off, getting really small. And as we get into overday heating tomorrow at 10 a.m., that's when the action starts to begin again. Starting to see it coming towards the Griffith area, Athens, just south of Atlanta, near the Hartsville Jackson Airport, seeing up to a half an inch of rain near the Albany area in Warm Springs. And then later by 8 p.m., it kind of really starts to develop once again once it's gone to overday heating. <coughs> um, uh, but again, we are going to start seeing this really heavy or just a ton of energy near Myrtle Beach and really near Georgetown. And then We'll be seeing up to an inch and a half uh, coming into the areas closer to an, an inch and a half all the way off into the Atlantic. And then we'll actually be seeing very, very strong rain at a fast rate to close to two and a half inches of rain. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. Everybody stay safe out there and bye guys.